I'm gonna show you five of the best places for dinner in the Outer Banks, and that's starting right now. Just because the vibe at the Outer Banks is fun in the sun, doesn't mean you can't enjoy an amazing dinner and some cocktails after a fun day at the beach and keep the fun rolling all night long. There is no lack of options along Highway 158, but I'm here to whittle down that list a little to give you a few places to start. I've chosen a few different types of dinners here, so there is sure to be something to please everyone in your party. And in addition to the five restaurants I have for you today, I also have some fun bonus options which are also money-saving hacks, so stick around for that. Kicking off the list, let's start with my pick for the best place to eat in the Outer Banks. Awful Arthur's. This is always our first stop when we hit the Outer Banks. Awful Arthur's is a family-run restaurant in Kitty Hawk that has been operating for close to 40 years. There's always a wait, which doesn't help at all with my impatience, but takeout there is incredible, and they also have picnic tables adjacent to the restaurant, so you don't have to worry about all your crispy fried goodness getting soggy. Eating inside is also amazing. It has a unique charm that crosses an old school family restaurant with a pub setting. They have a fairly big drink bar there as well, in addition to a steamer bar where you can enjoy some shucked oysters or some steamed seafood. Drinks are great and you can also enjoy a couple of their house brews in addition to mixed drinks. But for me, the biggest draw at Awful Arthur's is the food. The move here is the fried seafood platters and the steamed combos are also really good, especially if you like to overdo it with the sauces and dippers like me. I also gotta mention the Bad Barracuda Bite which stick to the awful verse theme. They're basically battered and fried chunks of tuna that are tossed in like a Cajun seasoning. So incredible. The hush puppies are amazing, so do not skip those. And if you're not into seafood, they have burgers, sandwiches, and even salads on the menu. So that's for all the picky eaters. They also have a beach shop right across the street, so you can stock up on their house beers there, or some hard seltzer, or your beach apparel. This place is a lot of fun. I'm sure you'll love it. Sometimes you want something a little bit more composed, fancy even. For times like that, I recommend Blue Point and Duck. Blue Point is located right on the waterfront in the middle of a strip of shops connected by a shoreside pier. Being a more fancy affair, Blue Point proudly features local farms and fishermen. An inside might feel a little too formal or elegant, but their back bar mixes in a little bit of that fancy experience with an alfresco setting right on the water. Prices here are a little on the higher side, but you're on vacation, splurge a little. I treated myself to a margarita, caliente y loca, hot and crazy, made with infused spicy tequila, house-made lemon-lime syrup, lime juice. This was pretty good. Spicy. Cassie picked an appetizer of creamy burrata, summer tomatoes and marinated olives, focaccia bread, and a balsamic vinaigrette. This was a pretty good deal at $16. It was actually really nice to pick on while sipping that beverage. My main course was a saute of jumbo lump crab and house smoked salmon with an herb onion spoon bread and an Old Bay butter sauce. It tasted pretty nice, kind of small portion for $36, but this experience is a little bit more about the flavors and techniques than it is about the portion size. We also hit the desserts really hard here. Noah never tried creme brulee until this meal, so we fixed that. And for good measure, we added the special of the night, which was a berry and rhubarb buckle, and it had some fresh ice cream on the side. Both excellent. Like I said, being in Duck, it's not a cheap place, but the outdoor vibes make you not worry at all when you're making a mess. And all jokes aside, everything here tasted really great. And I understand this place might be a little bit too fancy for you, so get ready for this next pick. Hey, you're on vacation. There's nothing wrong with wanting a little theater along with your cocktail and your meal. For that, hibachi is always a crowd pleaser. And for that, Fuji Steakhouse and Sushi totally fits the bill. Located in Kill Devil Hills, Fuji is that standard hibachi setup where there's multiple tables and they cook the food in front of you. While this isn't gonna win any culinary innovation awards, the outstanding detail about this place is that the prices aren't elevated even though you're basically in a vacation setting. Another outstanding Outstanding detail to me is the sushi menu. The house special rolls spill over from the special roll section into the traditional regular roll section. So make sure you look over that menu really carefully so you don't miss any gems. A big draw for me at Fuji is the fact that you can order tiki drinks and they are served in the right glassware. For me, there's nothing that says vacation more than fruity rum based drinks. Definitely helps me to kick back and enjoy vacation. Of course, the reason you come to a place like Fuji Hibachi is to watch them set things on fire, throw shrimp tails at people, and give people a free round of watered down sake. For one night in the trip, an experience like what they're doing at Fuji Hibachi will totally hit the spot. Here's a bonus hack. Chances are, if you're seeing this, you're an adult. And that's good because you can totally make the call to have ice cream for dinner. If you do that, you're gonna wanna check out Kill Devil Custard and Kill Devil Hills. And if anyone balks because they don't want ice cream for dinner, this place serves decent food there as well. They have burgers, sandwiches, a thing called beach fries, which are a must try. But in my opinion, the specialty there is their home 
homemade custard, which is made in a special machine. Even if you go with something crazy on the menu, like the Wicked Waffle Sunday, you'll probably still save a bunch of money because eating out in OBX can be expensive. That's what makes this a hack, but consider this a bonus place for a meal. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'll tell you a little more about what's going on at Kill Devil Custard. A fun place to go if you want a little Outer Banks history is the Black Pelican in Kill Devil Hills. As the story goes, back in 1874, the building housing the Black Pelican was constructed as a United States life-saving station. As you enter this place, you'll also see a lot of Wright Brothers stuff. Paraphernalia, newspaper references. This is because the Wright Brothers Museum is on the Outer Banks, which is because the Wright Brothers first took flight in Kitty Hawk back in 1903. The vibes at the Black Pelican are definitely family-oriented. The decor is very much sailing and ship-themed. There's various segments to the building, which kind of speaks to the fact that this place has been expanded upon multiple times. That's another nod to the history of this place. Another cool thing is Guy Fieri has been there and they proudly display that. And that's a pretty monumental thing. Moving on to their offerings, there's even more history there. They serve a drink called Julio Punch, which is absolute vodka, Cruzon rum, blue curacao, and pineapple juice. It'll make you glow like Julio himself. And I find this funny because they have this really boring picture on the wall. And if you look really closely, it has a physical Photoshop with somebody's face in between all these other older figures. That's Julio. He's apparently someone who used to work there and really loved this beverage. The food here is pretty much what you'd expect at a vacation spot. Nothing terribly experimental, lots of seafood. This is the type of place where you expect the food to be passable, but that the ambiance kind of carries the experience. Definitely a fun spot if you have kids because you can get a commemorative frisbee with a pizza served on top of it. Speaking of pizza, here's another bonus hack. Save a little money. On a day you load it up on breakfast, lunch, or beach drinks, there's nothing wrong with grabbing a quick pizza. And as a New Yorker, I can vouch for the fact that you can get good New York style pizza in the Outer Banks. Check out a place called Southern Shore Pizza, which is basically right at the hub of Kitty Hawk and Duck. I have a link to a video about this place in the description if you want to learn more. But like I said, pizza is a good money saver and this is a total crowd pleaser. Tucked away in South Nags Head is Fish Heads Bar and Grill. Fish Heads is on a pier overlooking the Atlantic Ocean and the main attraction at Fish Head is their bars. They have 40 beers on tap and also offer cocktails and they have margaritas on tap and they serve them in little plastic cups. Who doesn't want to party on a pier with a plastic cup filled with margaritas? The food menu has a wide variety of things on the menu. Sandwiches, burgers, hot dogs, seafood, shrimp, nachos. On my last visit, I went for a shrimp basket and I upgraded the fries for a few bucks to the chili cheese fries. The shrimp were just as expected. Good batter, good crunch, a perfect bite in a chill place. The fries were my style, totally insane, but really good. The chili on top had a good amount of spice to it and that American cheese kind of worked really perfectly with that. Little slaw on the side, pretty good. When we tried this place, it was for lunch and it was already pretty lively, but based on what I hear, this place gets even more lively at night, which would definitely make it a fun experience for dinner at the Outer Banks, especially if you don't have little ones to take care of. I'm slowly catching up to Emerald here, so make sure you hit subscribe so we can pick up the pace. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Even though this is a solid list, I know that ice cream is pulling you in. Click into this video right here to hear more about Kill Devil Custard or watch my top five breakfast or lunch Outer Banks videos.